What's happening, YouTube fam? It's a boy, Wisco Madman, coming at you with another reaction video. This time, as you can see, we're gonna jump up into some Up Church. The song is called Built Like That. Um, just dropped it a couple days ago, matter of fact. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump up in it. I'm gonna shout till I can't go down Ride this out till I slide on rails Make them remember the face My winning displayed in a case On the other side with the grace Rewind it back, back, back Yes, yeah, facts, facts We was built like that 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 yeah. I wanna be a tall tale, energy in me passed down. Repping my city, make maps proud. The way that I'm living, they map out. From no college, no education. Now my house, a whole space station. They blame the Illuminati, say I am a Freemason. Cause it's legendary trail that I'm out here blazing. Yo, so that's one line that's always made me curious within rap. I don't know that I've mentioned it in any other song, but. Why do so many rappers bring up the Illuminati shit? Better yet, knowing Church, he didn't just come up with this shit off the top of his head. Like, this is probably some shit, like, somebody's been accusing him of the Illuminati shit. Or, ah, oh, that's why he's successful. It's like, first off, look at the man as a whole from a financial perspective, from a fame perspective there are limitations that he has that if he was supposedly part of some secret society that made him all powerful he wouldn't have those limitations but second of all like why just just fucking why 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 has it got to be illuminati why can't it just be fucking talent why can't it just be the man has a knack for music, he knows how to come up with shit, and he's just an endless fucking resource of creativity? And leave it at that. Some rap back so big that I hate I can't take it From a five speed four to a six figure four So many sound files in my dome I'm born Tell Elon Musk I'ma need more storage Cause I be living large so I got a long story I'ma need a house made of glass 13 floors Whole window don't need a front porch What I see in my head don't need a weak door No turnkey for a keyless You know I've always looked at having a house And uh What kind of designs I would want to have as far as once I'm able to make it to that point, you know, what would make me happy? What kind of creativity can I come up with? What designs can I come up with for me to strive for? But, you know, I've always kind of looked at it as, as far as the basic needs go, like, I don't need anything hella huge. Like, maybe a couple rooms, one for the YouTube room, one for the pet room, like one for the bedroom, and that's I'm 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 solid. Like I don't need a whole lot of extra shit. But um what I will say on that front is so you're simplistic on that aspect, but he was talking about the fucking thirteen floor glass house kinda or whatever, you know. Baller shit, bro. Baller shit. Me personally, my favorite of all time houses is probably something along the lines on design of the Iron Man house. The one where he was off the cliff. That shit was dope as fuck. I don't care how big it was. Just the idea, the overlooking the glass, the that shit was dope as fuck. Oh, I'm gonna shout till I can't go down. Ride this out till I slide on rails Till I slide on Make them remember the face My winning displayed in a case On the other oh, Bruh I don't know where you got that shit But hell yeah <laughs> I'm talking about the fucking jacket and shit Like hell yeah I also need some glasses like that Except I want me some more of the light color the the rounds I've been I've been thinking about getting some rounds, bro. Some rounds, some light light transmission. Uh, 
highlight transmission rounds just that I can wear whenever the fuck I want. Oh, in case y'all were wondering, blue's my favorite color, which is why a lot of the time when I see people wearing different blues, like, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Yo, that's my favorite part of this song so far, when, the way he says, facts, facts. <laughs> we was built like that. We was built like that. We was built like that. I am that culture magic for a demographic vision in my words seem photographic and talking my shit with my teeth surround You know one of the things I enjoy about church's music besides the creativity and everything else that I've spoke about in the past is being able to wear different fucking costumes and, and dress up different ways like I imagine as far as creating goes that's got to be one of the more fun things that he does coming up with all these, you know, different clothes to wear and hats and glasses and chains and playing different roles. That shit's got to be fun. Only people with their eyes will be seen around me. Don't compare me to the greatest on your playlist. Because the greatest on your playlist ain't this. That is no this, but a tip on my hat lid. I don't want to be anything that has been. I just want to spin when the world spins. Track on the disc, got a whirlwind. Let the world hear till there's no one standing on this water land spear. Rolling up that shake for the smoke is fear. Hit them in the heart when they approach my field. Come in peace so you can leave in a mill. I'ma stay shining like fire in a steel. Tuck deep in the darkest soft red hills. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna shout till I can go bill. Ride this out till I slide on wheels. Till I slide on Make him remember. You know, I, I feel like this song speaks to his um his drive. His his type A personality that's always shooting for the next goal which is you know something that i think we have in common as far as that goes like shooting for that next fucking goal and always trying to outdo yourself like you're not even in competition with nobody else you don't give a fuck about nobody else as far as that goes like you're just trying to outdo yourself it's fun it's fun to always see see what you can do next the face Winning displayed in a case On the other side with the grace Rewind it back, back, back Yes, yeah, facts, facts We was built like that We was built like that We was built like that We was built You know, this is purely just my My guessing and kind of putting a story in my head But the narrative that I put together in my head Like, his influences from the 70s Or the flower child type shit Like, I feel like Patty, his mom, is probably a big influence as far as some of the, and I don't mean any of this in a negative way, like the hippie stuff that you see, the the type of clothes that he's wearing right now, the glasses that kind of remind me of some of the 70s shit, you know, the John Lennon, the, I guess 60s technically, but um, the fucking, we'll go back just a hair here. Uh, yep, okay. So that fucking the 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 bead shades or whatever the fuck you call them things that you walk through in the doorway. You guys know what I'm talking about, I show you. But uh that's all 70s influence. That's all that hippie lifestyle like shit. I like it, dude. Like it's all about that chill fucking vibe. And the cool thing with church when he brings in a lot of that stuff like Commonly nowadays, when somebody brings in the hippie vibe, then you start getting these people that try to control you or try to say that we should create this law or create that law and limit you. And to me, that's killing the vibe. But like church's way of things, like especially being pro gun and whatnot, like he's just chill, bro. He's chill until he doesn't have to be or until something calls out that, hey, man, like you ain't fucking with me like that. But that chill vibe, that, that's what I'm about. All positive vibes, all the fucking time, for real. We was built like that. We was built like that. Yeah. Eh. That's a cool touch. I like that little touch right at the end there. Uh, looks like we got just a couple seconds. We'll see what, what, no, okay. Just going through B-Loose's shit in the credits. 
Um, yeah, man. Fucking church with another good one. This one was chill as fuck, built like that. Just, uh, I don't know if I want to say this one was necessarily a reminiscence on, but it was chill. It was, it was fucking chill vibes. And, uh, yeah, like I said, always shooting for the next goal, the, ne the next star, trying to outdo yourself. I like that idea. That's what I'm always trying to do. That's what Church seems to always be doing is see what else he can fucking create. And I'm down with it. I'm down with it, and I'll keep on following you, Church, man. I'll keep on following you. But, uh, yeah, man, this Benny Boy Wisco Madman, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Throw me a comment, let me know if there's other shit you'd like me to check out. Throw me a subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check me out on Twitter, Clapper, Instagram. Rumble soon to be. I'm going to try to post some of these videos up there. It seems like that would be a good platform to see what my reach can be like on Rumble. Um, what else? Twitter, Instagram, Clapper, Rumble. I guess I have Facebook, but I don't really use it. And yeah, man, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.